All right, guys, today's the day. I'm gonna try to get some of this trailer done. Remember when we stopped the caliber? The trailer's gonna look a lot different once we're done with these. We're gonna first start with the door. And I got one of these edge glides kind of run here. What I thought was pretty cool, when you set these up, they have these little knobs here. So when you're first starting to line them up, you just simply slide them right over into place, lock them on, and you just make your way down. And then they come with uh, all the screws and the necessary bit to hold them down in place. After that, we're probably gonna work on the on to the edge glides so we replace the beaver tail of what I call it on the bottom of the door and also on the gap here to ensure that we don't get stuck anywhere and then after that we'll move into the trailer get everything put on let's do it I got these edge glides laid down here and you can actually trim to fit these as you were as needed for your door it just so happens that uh, ours basically lines up perfect here so I don't gotta do any trimming, but what also is really nice with these, underneath you actually do tie these uh, three sections here together. That way when you fold it, they all fold up together. And it's kind of a similar process, comes with all the hardware and all the bits needed to. So, but next up here, we're probably gonna lay out some tracks grabbers and the other glides. All right, so I got things kinda just semi in place here. I am gonna have to uh, do some trimming here as you'll see some of uh, some other stuff. But, kind of a early look at the door. It's gonna look pretty sweet. Uh, more of these uh, low pro grip glides, I'm gonna have to trim and fill in this gap. But I do wanna get the other edge glides on the transition so you do know how much you need to trim off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start from the bottom of the trailer and work my way up. And then uh, once I get these pieces on, I will then get the second set of edge glides get put on and then tape measure. And then we'll cut and trim to fill in the missing gaps. And then we will move into the inside of the trailer. After getting some insistence, we got the door done. Now it's time to move to the inside of the trailer, which is going to be a lot less uh, different intricate parts. It's just going to be, we're going to have uh, these low pro grip glides, which is these little nubs here, in the middle of the trailer. And then we're going to have what's called low pro glides that just don't have those little bumps, are going to go alongside the wall. And we're gonna leave the middle open so we can get good use out of those recessed east tract. Next up will be the inside of the trailer where I have currently laid out the low pro glides, low pro grip glides, and another row of low pro glides. These are gonna go all the way up, up into the V, giving enough clearance to where I can still take out or open up my cupboards. But it's a similar process as it went from the door here. We are gonna start screwing down the outsides. We're gonna cut out to where we have these D-rings here. Make sure we still have access to those and have these ones perfectly centered. Let's get to it. Just like that, we got the floor pulley put in. Just need some time and a good buddy and some, uh, maybe some knee pads next time. <laughs> but other than that, super stoked and super thankful for the guys down at Caliber hooking us up for this trailer and protecting our floor. It's gonna extend the life of this trailer and also just gonna keep it a lot nicer. Other than that, make sure you guys ride safe and we'll see you in the next episode.